Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. My name is Sierra and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a bi-weekly budget. So I get a lot of questions about how to start budgeting, how to start saving money, how to budget your money better, how to cash envelope stuff, um, all of that. So I'm hoping that this video is helpful for you guys and teaches you some things about how to budget. We all have different you know, budgeting needs and we all make different amounts each month and have different debt and things to save for. So I just chose things um, to write on this budget sheet that I felt like everyone has or has had at some point, like we all have to pay rent or mortgage um you know we all have electric gas and things like that or utilities so this is just a very general budget and you can kind of fill it in based on your personal needs throughout the month and what exactly you want to save for so i filled out um, our monthly expenses and then our cash envelopes and then our sinking funds so we're going to fill this out together on camera and then i'm going to explain to you guys how to start like cash envelopes and sinking funds as well i've always budgeted this way i've always written everything out it just helps me stay organized um long before i even did the cash envelope way i always wrote my budget down and um you know made sure i knew how much i was able to save each month how much i had to you know spend on bills and money that i had left over to keep in my checking account in case of like emergencies and things like that so we all have very different budgeting needs but um this is just a like i said very general budget and you can plug in your own numbers so i decided to go with um four thousand dollars a month as our budget and that would be two thousand from each paycheck i feel like that's just kind of like a general amount i know some people make way less some make way more but just based on um, information that I've gotten from people that I've talked to I felt like that was a pretty good amount to use um, so we will go ahead and get started so if you do want to learn a little bit more about how to stay on top of your finances create a budget and tackle your debt then just keep on watching all right so we'll go ahead and get started um, I just want to say really quickly a lot of people think that when you're living paycheck to paycheck, it's hard to save money. And I've actually helped quite a few people create budgets like this. And they're like, wow, I never realized like how much I actually am spending on stuff that I don't even need. So regardless of if you make a million dollars a year, you probably wouldn't have to budget too much then. <laughs> um, or if you make, you know, a thousand dollars every two weeks, there's always room to save. You would be so surprised at how much money you actually do waste and spend on unnecessary things. So literally sit down, grab a piece of paper. You don't need anything super fancy. Um, just a piece of paper, write down all your you know monthly expenses and then um, your cash envelopes and your sinking funds. I'll explain exactly what that means um, a little bit into this video after we fill out our monthly expenses. So let's go ahead and fill them out. All right, so as far as mortgage goes, I know everyone's mortgage is gonna be different. Um, just thinking back to when I did have my house, my mortgage was $1,000 a month. I split that with my partner, so I only paid 500 a month. A lot of people have you know, their own expenses. They don't split with people, um, you know, whether you're single or not. So I'm just gonna put $1,000 is going to be um, our mortgage every month, and this is monthly. Okay, so our mortgage is a thousand. Um, we'll just say it's due on the first because most people's, you know, bills are due on the first. So that's going to be five hundred dollars per paycheck. Okay, moving on to electric. Um, my electric ran about two hundred in the summertime, and like one something through the winter. So we'll just say electric is going to be due on the fifth and. We'll say it is we'll just we'll just say 200 a month um, so that's 100 per paycheck and like I said just plug in your own numbers this is just me doing like a general budget for you guys to get the the hang of it um, gas we'll just say that's due on like the seventh my gas was always very cheap unless it was winter time um, so I'm just gonna say our gas per month is 150. So that'll be 75 per check okay car payment um we'll say that's due on the 15th and we'll say our car payment is 300 dollars a month 
So that's going to be $150 per paycheck. And then car insurance, we'll say that's due on about the 17th. And that's going to be, um, we'll say $200 a month. So $100 per paycheck. Cell phone bill, we'll say that's due on the 20th. And that is $150 a month. So $75 per check. Okay, credit cards. I know a lot of people have credit card debt. That's why I wanted to include this. Um, I'm just going to put our credit cards are due on the 22nd and we'll just say $200 per month. So that'll be $100 per check. And then miscellaneous. I added miscellaneous just because I might be missing something that maybe some of you do have to pay or, you know, whatever the case is. So I decided to add miscellaneous. So we're just going to say... Miscellaneous will do 150 per month and that'll be 75 per check. Okay, so now we're just going to add everything up. That's going to be our monthly bills. And then what I would always do is I do get paid bi-weekly. Um, I mean, I've got my budgeting pretty much down packed now, so I don't really write my stuff out anymore. Um, but what I would recommend is getting yourself like a planner. It doesn't have to be super expensive, fancy or anything. Um, just a basic planner. And after you fill out your budgeting sheet for the month, just kind of fill out everything on the dates inside your planner. Um, let me see. So this is my planner. Um, basically what I mean is just write everything down on the due date. That way you can keep track of it. It just helps to stay organized. That way you can keep track of, you know, when things are due because you're probably not going to walk around with like a piece of paper all the time. This is just kind of like the groundwork and then you can, you know, fill everything out in your planner. But, um, so what I would do is I would, every time my paycheck would hit, I would take out this much money that way I knew that I had half of my bills that were going to be coming due um, that month. And then when my next check hit, I would take, you know, the rest of the money out and then I would put that away. That way I knew I had, you know, all my bill money ready to go. And then whatever I had left over, I would save up until I started doing the cash envelope way. I started this about a year and a half ago. Now, whatever I have left after I pay my bills, I actually take out of my checking and I put it into my cash envelopes and my binders and I'll explain that at the end. So let's just add everything up that way we can see how much our bills are. Okay, so we have 1000 Okay, so we have 1000 for mortgage, we have 200 for electric, 150 for gas, 300 for car payment, 200 for insurance. 150 for cell phone, 200 for credit cards, and then 150 for miscellaneous. So total our bills are going to be 2,350. So I'm just going to write our total here, 2,350. So that's how much we have in bills each month. And then we're going to subtract that from 4,000 because that's our monthly budget. And let's see. So that gives us $16.50. So we're going to bring the $16.50 right here to our cash envelopes because our cash envelopes is what we're going to use throughout the week. Um, and that's going to be for like your groceries, your gas, your toiletries, everything that you spend money on weekly. And I'm going to show you mine so you have a little bit of an idea. So I'll show you a few of mine. So I have kids weekly, household, gas groceries, Starbucks, myself, eat out, and beauty. So those are the main things that I spend money on throughout the week. So I created these cash envelopes for that reason. Um, and then I put a certain amount in them each week. That way I can make sure I'm on top of my spending and I'm not spending over, you know, what I budget for myself. Because we all know when we have just a debit card and no budget, it's so easy to spend over, you know, and just waste money. Um, so that's why I do that. So putting the money in the cash envelopes really helps you to make sure you're not, you know, overspending and things like that. So I just added groceries, gas, toiletries, and weekly to this budget because I didn't have enough space to add everything. 
Um, and I know we all have to, you know, buy groceries, gas, toiletries, and a lot of us do have kids, so we need to, you know, make sure they have money for things they need as well. So let's go ahead and um, add up our cash envelopes. Like I said, we all have different things, so just fill in whatever you use for your cash envelopes, or if you don't use cash envelopes, just fill in, you know, what you spend money on weekly and add up how much you normally spend. So for groceries per month, um, I really don't spend that much. So I'm trying to think of like what an average family would spend. It's probably going to be around maybe $400 a month, I'm guessing. Um, so I'm going to put that down. So I'm just going to put $400. So that's going to be $200 per check gas a month luckily i um, work from home so i really don't have to go back and forth to work so i'm trying to think um i would say if i was commuting back and forth to work i would probably be spending about three hundred dollars maybe four hundred in gas a month um i'm trying to think right now i spend probably about two something i don't know i'm just gonna put three hundred so that'll be 150 per check. And then toiletries, um, I'll just say 150 a month. That's gonna be like, you know, toilet paper, just household necessities, things like that. Um, I guess it really just depends on like your family size. And then my kids, I always give my kids um, like $20 each week. So I'm just gonna say $100 over the course of a month so that'll be 50 per check okay so now we can add that up so we have 400 300 150 and then 100 so that's 950 total so i'm going to subtract that from our 1650 so that's 700 so then we would bring that down here now 700 is going to be for our sinking funds our sinking funds is what we are going to be saving so think of i always tell people think of anything that's important to you i'll show you guys a few of my envelopes so you can you know get an idea of what i mean um so i have my kids aston alaya i have family time because i love you know spending time with my family and you guys know that family activities are not the cheapest thing so i always try to save for that um, I have my Etsy shop. That's something that's, you know, just personal to me. Um, I have vacation because, of course, I'm saving for vacation. We all deserve that. Student loans, investing, and then I have house um, saving for, like, a down payment for a house and, you know, furniture, things like that. So whatever you want to save for, um, you know, whether it be college or it be you know, a new car, anything, just make an envelope for that. Or you don't even have to have these envelopes. You can kind of just store it in your mind. I personally feel like the cash envelope way is so easy because everything's just right in front of you. You can just put the cash in there and leave it there. Um, but yeah, whatever you want to save for, just make an envelope for it or write it down and then, um, you know, just keep adding money towards it. And literally before you know it, you will have money saved and you'll be reaching your goals i swear to you guys i swear so much by this cash envelope method i mean it, it works wonders and you will literally be so shocked like oh my gosh i i just saved up 500 dollars. you know if i wasn't doing it this way if i wasn't writing my stuff out i would have blew that 500 dollars by now you know because i wouldn't be keeping track of it so um it definitely works so all right let's go ahead and get into our sinking funds so i just added a few sinking funds that i feel like um, most people you know might want or have i have two kids so i just added child one and child two and um, monthly i give my kids about 200 dollars each um, just saving up for their future so i'm gonna put 200 for each of them Okay, and then taxes. I know a lot of us do have to pay taxes, so I'm just going to put $50 a month for taxes. Clothes, 
we can't walk around naked so you know we do have to save up for clothes so i'm just gonna put like 50 dollars a month like i said just plug in whatever numbers you want i don't want you guys to feel like you have to like use these same numbers or anything this is literally just me being general like this is a general budget christmas um i'm just gonna save 50 dollars a month new house i'm gonna say let's see We'll just say 50 and then vacation I'm gonna say 50 as well so that's going to be 100 per paycheck and then 25 per check for taxes and then 25 the rest of the way down Okay, so we'll go ahead and add this up. So we got 200, 200, and then 55 tenths is 250. So we have a total of 650. So out of our 700, that's going to leave us $50. So we're just going to write $50 in um, our little bubble here. That's how much we're going to keep in our checking account. So basically i always like to keep like a certain amount in my checking um now that i have youtube paychecks and stuff i usually just leave that in my checking just as like an emergency and it honestly kind of builds up um but i don't like to leave my checking account bare like i don't want it to be a zero or anything i know some people do anyway as i was saying before i got rudely interrupted by my phone dying um i just choose not to leave my checking account at zero i don't know it just bothers me and um i feel like if anything is like gonna you know come out that maybe i forgot about um you know an auto draft or something like that if i'm leaving money in my account you know it'll be there to cover it so hopefully this video helps you guys you know understand like how easy it really is to create a budget i feel like this is super beginner friendly and like i said i started budgeting this way when i was literally so young like 16 17. um i would just write everything out save and mind you at the time when i started budgeting i was like I said, 16, 17, and I was working at um, like just little odds and end jobs like Pizza Hut, Target, things like that. And um, I was, you know, actually saving money. I mean, I did live with my parents and, you know, situations are different, but you can literally save on any amount. You just have to be determined and very disciplined. And I promise you it will work. Um, like I said, I definitely recommend doing it like the cash envelope way and, you know, creating envelopes for yourself. Check out Etsy. They have super cute envelopes. Um, you can honestly fold up a white piece of paper, staple it on the side, write down on the um, front of it what you're saving for, and you literally have an envelope made for, what, a couple cents or maybe free if you already have the stuff in your drawer. But yeah, it's super easy and it's honestly fun and it's like a challenge to see how much you can save. So definitely just sit down grab a piece of paper write yourself a budget and no matter how much you make you will start saving and you'll start seeing a difference and you'll be really proud of yourself so um i hope you guys did enjoy this video hopefully i was clear on my explanations and um like i said it's super easy you know and i think that anyone is capable of budgeting as long as you have some discipline so that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy and i will talk to you guys in my next video Bye.